Hello and welcome to episode 17 of the Data Pack tutorial series. Do take note, we are in version 1.2, 1.3. I'll probably say that quite a few times because uh, we are updating the right click detection using edible items. This is a request from Sussy Wussy. Um, if I do do a different version to 1.21, I'll make a point of mentioning it and I'll probably mention it a few times. Anyway, let's crack on. First thing, I want to give myself the item. So I'm going to go over to MC Stacker. And it defaults to the latest version. So there we go, 1.2, 1.3. There is a versions button, but I don't need it. So I'm going to go to give and we'll scroll down. Um, I'll change the selector. Let's change that to the entity executing the command. It's just going to change it to at S because we're going to use it in a function. And we're going to give them a diamond, diamond. Okay, and it's already filled that in. Nice. We're going to need some attribute modifiers. First, well, you can put in your item name and stuff like that. I'm not going to do any of them. I'm just going to do custom data. We'll add that one. And I will say edible true. Okay, so that's been added. Up here we can see edible true up in the top right there. Cool. Let's also add the food item. Add. Well, we definitely need can always eat, so you can always right click. Uh, nutrition, well, I'm going to set these. I don't know what they default to. Let's have a look at the question mark. It doesn't say what it defaults to. Let's set them to zero just to make sure. So we're not going to get anything food-wise from eating the diamond. And let's add another component, consumable. Let's add that. I'm going to set the consume seconds to one million. One, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. And I haven't really played around with anything else. There might be better ways to do this, but this works for me. Uh, animation, take your pick. I'm going to pick none. Play around with those, see what happens. None. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the rest. I don't want to play a sound or anything like that. And I am going to copy that command from the top right. Control, copy. And I'm going to pop over to the data pack. Right, in the data pack. Spyglass has not been updated to 1.2, 1.3 yet. So we're going to keep getting this message about it crashing. Very important. Pack MC Meta. Change the pack format to 57. You need 57 if you are in 1.2, 1.3. How many times can I say that in this uh, video? So 57 in the pack MC Meta. Let's go to my namespace and create a new folder to store all our stuff in. I'll call it edible. And in there, I'll create a new file. And I'll call it give.mc function. And in there, I'm going to paste in the command from MC Stacker. Looks good. Let's save that. And let's pop over to Minecraft. Here I am. Let's do a reload. Let's do function. Let's spell function correctly. Oh, okay. It's not there. Let's go back and have a look. Why is it not there? It all seems good. We definitely did a reload and we saved this file. Um, let's test to see if this command has a problem in it. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm just going to say hi. Save. Let's go back. Let's do a reload. Let's do the function. Can I not spell function today? And it's not there at all. Okay, so this, we've got a problem. Ah, can you see the problem? Look where edible has gone. Edible is sitting next to function. It should be inside it. Okay, well, I could edit that out, but I think it's useful for these little things. Something like that can sometimes really catch you out. So I'm going to leave that in. Okay, let's put our proper command back in there. And let's go back to Minecraft and we'll try a reload. And we'll do function, and there's our give command, and there's our diamond. Let's do data get uh, from an entity from me my selected item. Uh, yeah, it seems to have all the stuff that we wanted. Cool. Yep. Yeah, okay. Let's let's go and make an advancement. So let's pop off to. Miso's advancement generator. What do we need here? Requirement location? No, we don't care where we are. We want to care about using an item. And let's add some conditions. 
Okay, well, the item we want is a diamond. So we'll pick diamond. Yep. And we want to have... We want to check the custom data. We don't want them eating any old diamond. Let's add that. And I'm going to leave it as a string. Let's do edible true. I still can't work out how to get these things so they don't need editing. Uh, we need a reward. Reward. I'm just going to put placeholder for the moment. Placeholder. Done. And let's copy that. Copy. Pop back to VS Code. In our namespace, we will create a new folder. Advancement in there, we will create a new file. What should we call it? Let's call it um, 8 diamond.json. In there, we will paste our advancement and we'll save that. Let's give ourselves we need to we need a function to run and we need to edit that custom data let's do the custom data first let's just take away those speech marks from the end and put them around the word edible and let's create inside edible a new file uh, eat item eat dot mc function in there we will revoke that advancement Advance. We've got no autofill. Advancement revoke for the player executing the command. Only id yt017 and our advancement is called 8 diamond. And we'll say i ate the diamond. Save. Okay. What's this? It's called eat item. So let's go to 8diamond. Our function we're going to run. So much nicer when you've got an autofill. IDYT017. The colon is instead of function. And then it'll be in edible. And it will be called eat item. I believe. <laughs> let's go and give it a test. Fingers crossed on this one. Okay. Reload. We, do we need to run a function? Well, we can see each item is there. Okay, let's run that. See what happens. Give it a test. Unknown or incomplete command. Well, uh, we didn't test it very well, did we? There we go. I ate the diamond. That worked when we run the function. Let's try right-clicking. Right-clicking is doing nothing, however. Okay. Do we have the advancement working? Let's check that. So we could do advancement grant me only id right it's definitely there id yt let's autofill that and let's copy let's change this to revoke okay and let's change that to s we know that command works because minecraft has autofilled it for us copy that let's take it back to our eat item and let's paste it underneath that one. Well, they look the same. Okay, that looks all right. Save that. Let's also test that we haven't already got the advancement. So let's go back here and let's do... Actually, we'll, what we'll do is we'll put that in. And we'll just revoke it. Revoked it. So I did already have it. Still nothing happening when we're eating the diamond. Okay, let's go back. Let's check our advancement out. Let's make sure it's in the right place. Pretty sure it is because it auto-filled it in in Minecraft. So let's have a look. It's in the same line as function, so that seems good. Eight diamond. Well, it all seems happy. Can we revoke the advancement one more time? Ah, so I I do seem to be getting the advance. I do seem to be getting the advancement because if I right click on it, let's clear the chat F three D. I right click on it once, nothing happens, and if I revoke 
the advancement, it will say it's revoked the advancement. Now, if I try to revoke the advancement again, I can't because I don't have it. So that advancement is working. We've obviously got a problem with it running our edible eat item. Do we need to change something? What is not working here? Is our eat item there? Function eat item is definitely there. Let's fill that in. Let's copy that. Copy. And let's go back. And let's paste it over this function here. Ah. Oh, look, there we go. We've got a mistake. There's our mistake. Okay, now this video, we've got two mistakes in it. I am going to leave them in though, because troubleshooting is useful. Here, we've put the extra slash. We don't need that. That's just confusing it. There we go. That's what we want. Save. Now, if we'd had an updated version of Datapack Helper, that would have told us about that. That's a little silly mistake, but hard to spot. Okay, let's go back. Let's reload. Let's eat the diamond, and now we can eat the diamond. There we go. We have made ourselves a consumable diamond in 1.2, 1.3. Let's have a little look. There's our advancement. All good. So really, the only thing that we've changed is the give function, because food has now been split into food and consumable. So this was a very long-winded way of just saying, you just need to change this. Sorry about that. But we did have a little bit of a look at troubleshooting as well. So hopefully that is going to help you out a bit. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Yum, 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 yum.